You didn't sleep much. Do you have any nightmares? I don't have any pictures of me and Danny. When we were kids, I just... I wish I did. It might help if you tell me what's going on. I got the results of the DNA test, and you were right. I'm adopted. Robin called with the DNA test results last night. I knew that you were upset that you would tell me when you were... You know, I don't, I don't even know what to think about this, Jason. My mind is just sort of going in circles. I just found out that my entire life is a lie and all the assumptions that I had made. I always thought that my mother left with Danny because of me, because that's what she told me. She told me that me and my father were two of a kind and she couldn't deal with both of us and I believed her. I thought I inherited my ability to run a scam because of my father. You learn from him, that's almost the same thing. I don't know who I am. Everything I thought was true about myself and my life was a lie. I don't know who my parents are. I don't know why my mother gave me up. If it would help. To have some answers, we can try to find your own mother. Absolutely not. I just wish now I had waited for the DNA test. Why did I have to be in Sam, such a hurry? Sam, Jesus? you needed to know. On the day of my brother's memorial, I find out that he's not my biological brother? Danny is always going to be your brother, just like Emily is always going to be my sister, blood or not. Okay? Nothing can erase the love you felt for him or the way you looked after him. Now, if, if you want to try to find your real mother, it's not going to mean that you love Danny any less. I know, but this isn't just about Danny. Say I go digging around in my past. Jason, I'm afraid of what I'm going to find. I don't know if I want to know who my mother is or who my parents were or why they gave okay, me up. Well, you know what? We, you don't have to think about that today, all right? Besides, what do we have to go on? I don't even know where I was born. You know when. If that's even true. For all I know, my parents lied to me about everything. Oh, Sam, we can't assume that. Okay, so what are we supposed to do? Look up every birth certificate of every girl born May 11th, 1980? And I was supposedly born on Mother's Day. Jason, maybe this isn't fair. Just you and me going to Danny's gravesite. Maybe, maybe I should call some other people. Maybe I should call Sunny or Carly or I'm sure Michael would go. Maybe Monica would go out of respect for you. I, I just we can like wait might... if you want. That's fine. We can make arrangements to fly in people from Danny's group home. Invite some people here. We no, can do whatever you, know what? you want. No, 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 no. I'm being silly. I'm being silly. Nobody here in Port Charles really knew them, and they probably wouldn't want to go. And the last thing that Danny would ever want is a bunch of people standing over his grave mourning him. What about the people from the group home? I called, and they're having a service for him on the beach in Hawaii. Nice. They understand what it means for Danny to be gone. I just don't think anybody here under understands that. I... I don't know what to do. Well, you need to say goodbye in whatever way that feels best to you. That's just it. There isn't really a way that feels best because I don't want to say goodbye. Dear God, we are here today to say goodbye to one of your blessed children, Daniel McCall. He lived a simple life, but it was a life full of courage. Every day, Daniel overcame limitations that would have discouraged most of us. But he always found a way to keep going. He also had a great deal to teach us about love and family. Danny McCall loved his sister. And his sister loved him. Mom and Dad told me when they brought you home, they said they picked you special to be my little sister. They chose you just for me. I'm so glad Mom and Dad made you my sister. 
love me always when no one else did. Was I a good enough boy to get into heaven? To make a good life out of what we have, to always hope, and to love one another as Danny loved his sister, and as you have loved us all. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much. You're welcome. What you said it really helped. I wish I had known Danny better. You would have liked him a lot. I'm sure I would have. I'll keep you and Danny in my prayers. Thank you. Please. I know it's a good place for Danny out here. He's really close to my daughter. When he was dying, I told him to wait for her. That she would be there, waiting for him. Do you think they found each other? I think whatever heaven is, I know it's beautiful. And I know Danny's there and he's happier than ever. You always know the right thing to say. Can I have a couple minutes yeah. to myself? Just be at the gate, okay? Thank you. Everything makes sense in heaven. Right? When you aren't left out. Nobody makes you feel like a dummy. Everything that used to hurt you and all the things that you couldn't do, I know you can do them now. I bet you're reading newspaper cover to cover every morning. And those street signs. And all those menus. You don't go out and go buy pictures anymore, do you? Nobody's gonna look at you funny. Nobody's gonna look at you with pity. You know what? Nobody's gonna see you at all because you're gonna be riding so fast on that motorcycle of yours with the wind in your face. You're free. Danny, you're free. be happy for you and I am I am happy because you are in a better place now I'm just being a little selfish because I miss you so much that you would be gone by now. I just wanted to leave some flowers for your brother. How dare you show your face here when you killed my brother. <laughs> 